Okay, Mass, you go ahead with your list. This is gaming right. news, by the way. I'm just letting the people know because this is a new video yeah. and whatnot. This, this gaming, gaming news is EXT. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh. All right, so first bit of news Battlefield One's uh, new game mode is called Frontlines. Mm. Um, it's a mix of Conquest and Rush, and uh, you have a you have to fight for control points across a board basically to it's like a tug of war match to where you push to one side or the other as you fight for different control points um they have it if you're in the cte for battlefield one you can play on the new mode and the new maps now uh if you're not you have to wait till it releases which i believe is going to be at the beginning of next month officially mm. Mm. um that's the first bit of news uh the second bit of news is Square Enix launches a new studio and announced a new game. Um, uh -huh. They they formed a new studio called Estolia, um, and uh, he the studio head is Hideo Baba. He, he's basically uh, the person behind like most of the Tales franchises. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, wait a second! Wait a second! Yeah. Hold up! And, uh, Hold up, wait a second. I can't believe it. That was in my that was on my, my news and I didn't even say it. It's right there. Look at that. I skipped right over okay. that. Okay. What? No. <laughs> what the? Nope. Okay. So uh this the name hasn't been finalized, but right now it's called RPG Project Prelude Room. Mm -hmm. Uh and there's literally no details other than what I just said. There's there's nothing standing out and there's no uh, okay, uh things otherwise said about it um no trailer no no well there's like a concept thing but there's no like trailer mm -hmm. there's like concept art but there's no trailer yeah hold on, uh, hold on. so this square enix square enix making and they just uh they created out. a whole new studio and that new studio is creating it's uh, an entirely new ip well, try Avengers game. I'm done. All right, continue. Alright. Um, Rainbow Six Siege got a patch um, that fixes a multitude of the issues that were uh, put up with um, the inclusion of Season 2, the Season 2 introduction patch. Um, there's a uh, list of the patch notes on uh, the site. So... It's patch 2.1.1. It tweaks some operators, uh, does a little terror type things, and uh, it's all the bug fixes for little things that, uh, like Mirror, like Mira, her Mirror could be activated from the front. They fixed that, um, and a couple other uh, minor fixes. Mm. But there, there's like a like two pages worth of changes uh, for Rainbow Six for anybody who. But when it's down to Rainbow Six. Read those uh, notes uh, on the uh, Ubisoft website. You won't notice the things unless they you, you had a problem with them before. No, I got like, a yeah, problem there's with, a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, I got a problem with um, like the uh, scenery. Like the uh, what you call it? Me and Raw had a problem with it, but you know what, Raw? You know what's crazy about Rainbow Six? You know how we we said we didn't need HDR? Like real life, I was looking at my house yesterday from outside. I can't really see inside like that because of the sun. So that's kind of realistic the way they got Rainbow Six. What? Like, it's hard what for you to telling me you're looking out your window? No, no, no. I was outside and the door was open. You know how you. You put the, the metal thing here, you leave your door open, like, you hold the door open. Like, I was looking in the house, I'm like, oh, snap, no wonder why, like, they did it on Rainbow Six. Like, no, you really listen, can't listen, see. listen, that's different, because your house has windows, and curtains, and all that different no, stuff. No, no, I'm talking about in the door. Like, it was dark in the house. It was dark in my house, no lights on, and it was in the daytime. Okay. I can't really see inside my house, because my eyes are adjusted to the brightness. But and when I look at my house, I, I it's dark. It's really dark in there. But I my whole see. thing is, light like, is... Finding his way in your house if the door's open. Look, look, this is real life. This ain't no game. I'm telling you, like, 
this is similar to Rainbow Six. Like it, somebody thought about this. Like HDR will make it fake. Actually, HDR might make it worse. It might make it real dark. But anyway, because uh, you know with HDR, it <laughs> like, makes the darks darks and the lights lights. But um, yeah, yeah, God, yeah HDR probably messed it up real good. But anyway, continue, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Right, right. So uh, you good? So uh, also, there's been another new game announced called The Surge. Uh, it's it's supposed to be a action RPG that's neo Dark Souls ish. Um, it's from um, Focus Home Interactive. Yeah. Uh, the no guys who made the uh, release date for that, but there's a trailer up for it. Um, there's also another game from Game Era, uh, entertainment called Omar Champions of the Four Kingdoms. Uh, it's it was announced for PC and console, and um, it's supposed to be coming out in 2018, and it's supposed to be an isometric RPG. Um, there's some details about it. Uh, you can visit uh, Avaloth.com uh, and um, it'll, it has a, a breakdown of what they want the game to be plus um, a bunch of uh, screenshots of uh, game concepts that they yeah. have in mind. Nothing concrete, no trailers or anything. Hold up, um, the Surge? Hold up, ain't the Surge that one game, like, like they do got no, trailers not, and stuff. They do no, got... I'm talking about the Surge. The Surge, I said, has a trailer. Uh, I moved on from the Surge to a completely different game. Uh, uh, Avalon <laughs> Champions of the Four Kingdoms. Wow, you moved real quickly then. All right. I did. My bad. <laughs> uh, Avalon Champions of the Four Kingdoms and the Surge are two completely different games. Yeah. Uh... Also, um, if you're a fan of Warhammer 40k, um, that RTS series, then uh, they have Dawn of War 3. They they just announced it. Um, so, you know, uh, there's a trailer out for it now, Prophecy of the War. Um, Hammer is a, if you like that RTS series, then there's a, a brand new trailer for the announcement. Uh, there's no release date given. Uh, they just announced it, showed parts of the campaign, um, and I'm all for these, uh, for m more RTSs. I don't know that it's coming to console, because, you know, RTSs don't fare well on console as a whole. All but I gotta we'll say see. is, you Xbox um, guys who have Halo Wars 2 support it, because we need more RTS games on console. So, yeah. Uh, Lego City Undercover, uh gets a release date for current gen it is coming out on april 4th um for pc ps4 and xbox one mm. uh it'll have new features and uh updates if that's your thing mm. uh you know my kids play little games i don't they're they were fun i guess but they're kind of repetitive so and that's your thing, April 4th, Lego City Undercover comes out, uh, and you can cop that. Yes. Um, if, uh, I want to reiterate that, um, Mass Effect Andromeda is going to be the ish <laughs> times a thousand, I just wanted to put that out there. That wasn't really news, I was just making sure I said it again. No, man. Uh, <laughs> what? Ain't right. I'm just letting you know. Let me I wanted it. to make sure I said it again. That's the, uh, look, we gonna see if it's the ish. It's gonna be the ish. Anyway, so uh, EA Origins for the PC people um, is now uh, they are offering the same thirty dollar a year service that they're offering on uh, the Xbox One for uh, EA Access. I think it's called mm. on uh, Xbox One. So it's the service where you pay thirty dollars a year and you get whatever EA games they have in their vault. Uh, if that's again, if that's your thing, by all means, go do it. It's thirty dollars a year. It used to be five, or it's thirty dollars a year or five dollars a month. So if you're going to get this service, mm. do not subscribe to it monthly for five bucks. Just pay the thirty dollars because you get it for a whole year. Yes. Yeah. Save yourself 30 bucks because 
that's smart gaming. You're right. That's, um, that's smart money handling. Yeah. Uh, also, on the PC front, um, AMD has shown off the Ryzen series. And if, if you are an AMD guy, you should be happy about this. If you are an NVIDIA guy, you should be happy about this because the benchmarks they showed off for the Ryzen series beat a lot of um, NVIDIA chips. And if they can pull off that type of performance for the budget that they are uh, asking for, because the the models are 300 400 and 500 bucks, and all three of them beat out their... Uh, NVIDIA competitors, at least in the, the Cinemark benchmarks that they used, um, this will make NVIDIA stop being lazy and also stop shilling everyone because they were the only people out there making, you know, subsequent chips that mattered. So, if you even if you're an NVIDIA guy and you hate AMD, you should be happy about this. Um, go watch the AMD uh, conference from yesterday. That really that shows all the Ryzen information. If you're looking to build a new rig and you want to get outstanding performance, according to what they showed, real real world performance versus the benchmarks they showed may be different. But according to what they showed, this looks like an outstanding way, into, especially into a budget uh, PC for mm-hmm. around. I want to say. 600 bucks, you can get something that's completely and utterly will play every game at 4K, 60 FPS, and VR ready. So, with with this chip of 480, a couple other miscellaneous components, but, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I don't want to, what? Whoa, whoa, Fresh, Fresh, you there? Yeah. Whoa, what? Is PC versus PC over there? Oh! <laughs> that's always been in NVIDIA versus AMD. That's been a thing since forever. <laughs> I know, man. Like, I, I don't think a lot of people uh, really um, have, be, are mindful of that. Like, you know, I mean, everybody, especially on the uh, console side, you know what I mean, who play games there, uh, primarily use PCs for work or whatever. They they look at the gaming side of PC like it's just one whole, like a is a, is a neighborhood with all the stuff Negative. in it. That junk is Negative. two countries they're, against they're each other. I had AMD people in there diehard NVIDIA people mm-hmm. and they are worse no I don't say worse but they are as bad as the Xbox versus PlayStation people I feel you I feel you cause, <laughs> cause look look I think it's really like that because you know you put in your money your and your money comes from your time and, and, and all that into your preferred place and some people find that they need to defend where they drop their dollar at so at the end of the day you know I understand um, it is that doesn't really make any sense to me. The what? reason it doesn't make any sense to me is because if I choose to buy something mm-hmm. and I love it, yes, and you buy something different and mm-hmm. you love it, yeah, neither one of our lives is affected by the other loving something different. Right? You agree? <laughs> so I agree. I agree with you. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. I will give no no fanboy of any one thing over another credit because it doesn't affect your life mm-hmm. that someone else likes something you don't like yes. literally has no effect on your life I, I'm agreeing with you I'm just saying that's what it is <laughs> yeah which is stupid it's, yeah. it's stupid that's it's, what we're going to call it what it is it's, it's a little bit it's sad. just straight up and down stupid yes <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm sorry for cutting between right. your uh, you're alright um, also For Honor got a patch for uh, to balance some characters some OP stuff they basically just nerfed the Peacemaker into the ground whoa like, they may, they know it's Peacemaker. I'm going to use Peacemaker, peacemaker then, they Fresh. Know, I'm going to make Peacemaker... They know all her <laughs> Make Peacemaker great they, again. They broke one of her stab, They broke her stab, so there's no point in stabbing them three times because the damage doesn't register. Hold up, Peacemaker the, is oh, that dual-wielding two. knight? Is Peacemaker <laughs> the dual-wielding knight? Yeah, the Peacekeeper is the one that stabbed you in the I side. I said Peacemaker. I mean Peacekeeper. What is that? Hey, Fresh, you know who that is? The the dual wielding uh, knight guy. The knight person. You know that one with the poison dagger? On what? On For Honor. They oh, said they honor. nerfed her. Uh, what happened? What happened to her? They nerfed they her. They nerfed her. They nerfed her 
Yes. Or blood. <laughs> or they nerfed her bleeding, uh, or making people bleed, and they broke her stab. So there's no point in even stabbing anybody more than once because the damage from the other two stabs don't even register. Dang. Yes. Well, hold up. Wait a second. About why they did that? I have no clue. They should have just took the bleed away. Sense. They just should have took the bleed away. That's it. They they didn't take it away. They just nerfed it. Like they made it small, like God, minuscule. Please. But that's messed up. They'll probably fix that God. again. Because how you have an animation where I'm shaking you three times and the second, the second and the third one don't register? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, that's not they, good. Yeah, they they broke some stuff. When they try to fix other things, it's just how game Wait, development fresh. goes. Hey, Fresh, at least we don't main that character. We good. Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't anymore, because she's broken. But, anyway, uh, move on. We got 16 minutes now. All right. Um, what else I have? Oh, um, if you are in the Xbox preview program... Or the Windows uh, Xbox app pr- preview program, then you'll have noticed that the new uh, dashboard update now includes a broadcast, but the broadcast is specifically linked to Beam, which is Microsoft's, um, is the, the company that Microsoft bought that is uh, low latency streaming. Yeah. I. Real quick plug, I have personally moved my stream over to Beam for two reasons. One, uh, Beam is low latency, so if if I do something on the screen, a second later, less than a second later, you will see it in your stream. Hold up. There's not like a delay. You will, you will literally almost one for one see what I am doing. So whenever you're interacting with me in the chat, I will be able to directly interact with you and I won't be, uh, you won't be telling me things that I've already gone far from. Uh, Hold also, up, a lot of games are interactive, so you can, there's, uh, for watching, you get what they call points, or uh, and you use those points to interact with the stream, like you can click something and it'll make something happen in game. Um, you said They're Windows is getting this update for Xbox and this PC. So it Did you hear me? For the <laughs> What'd you say? I can hear you. Of course you didn't hear me. <laughs> Your mic is too loud. But anyway, um, I said is being a service for Xbox and Windows. Now, Beam, you can use it on anything. Oh. But it's integrated into Xbox, or it will be integrated into Xbox when the. Um, the new dashboard rolls out to everyone and it'll be fully integrated into the Xbox app for Windows. Yeah, right. okay. All right, that's clean, huh, Fresh? Yeah, so yeah, it's, 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 it's literally a click, click. Your, and you can change all the settings in the tab so you don't even have to go to Beam to change any of your settings. You can do it all in the tab. All right, that sounds um, cool. That sounds cool. So I started moving to there, so follow your boy in there. Beam dot pro backslash the real masculine, just like everywhere else. Oh, I just literally moved my stream from Twitch to Beam. That's all. Still yeah. the same days, all the time. All right, cool. A little quick, you know. Do that. Follow me. Plug. The little um, shameless plug? No, it's okay. We support each other here. Yeah, it's not shameless. It's no, not no, shameless. No, it's, it's I, have, I, have, <laughs> I fully embrace my shame, and I'm okay with that. No shame here. <laughs> but look, move on to the next thing. We about to hit uh, 20 minutes. And then the last thing, uh, the last one I got is there's a Transformers fighting game called uh, Forge to Fight. Um, my notes don't say it's really state. But... It's a, uh, it, you know, it's a 2D fighting game, a la Street Fighter esque. Yeah. Um, and it, but it's a, uh, it's a what's it called? It's a mobile game. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, and it I think it comes in the spring to iOS and Android. 
Okay. Nice. Um, and that is all I have in my notes. All right. I do believe. Uh, let me let me just say this real quick, <laughs> Raw, before you move on. Hmm. I just want to also add. This was just one thing. Uh, PS4 exclusive Death Stranding. Uh, you, I don't know you don't hear about this, Raw, but uh, Coach Hideo Kojima said that Death Stranding is a very intuitive open world action game, and he also added um, the online mode and saying that uh, the way the game works, you won't you won't get done the campaign and then go to go to multiplayer. That's not how the game works. It's not separate. It's all on one thing. And he also said that uh, it's very going to be very open. And he added something about vehicles and going to buildings and things like that. So he's talking very high about this project. It's a high profile Hold project. Up. Kojima, because uh, I know he has a channel on YouTube where he uh, has, it's basically like a vlog like for a him. Vlog. What the world? I hear Echo now. But, um, yeah, no, I, you heard that too. But anyway, it was like a vlog or something. Is that where you heard this news? No, he's he's uh on GameSpot talking about it. Um, you Ooh. know, Dice Dice is having a little thing today. You're right, they so are. I guess, like everybody's, yeah. So I guess everybody's like coming out just talking about their project because everybody else is. So so they, everybody trying to get some attention. But uh, Death Stranding has no release date. It is rumored to be coming out 2018, but uh, and it's not coming out for PS5. So. It's coming probably next year or 2019. Let me say this about Death Stranding. Like, it's not that I don't like hearing about it. It's just that you hype it up to the ceiling. I don't mind getting news <laughs> on about it. I don't, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you why I hype it up. Uh, because there's not every day we get you know a game like Death Stranding. You got <clears throat> actors that you got star power in the game. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. Like, like these shit. face, you got big faces in games, not yeah. no, just no cheesy characters. Like we just record random people. Like I know we know Troy Baker and everything. Reason why we know Troy Baker and you know Nolan North because you know we know they've been acting for a long time with these games and actually show their faces and talk about it. Mm. But Norman Reedus, we seen him on Walking Dead, we Mads Mikkelsen. You know we got fame. I never seen a game where famous people was on it besides Def Jam. Famous people was on there and it was actually serious. Like this is a serious project. high profile project, you know, yeah. a high budget project. You know, I never seen nothing like that. And that's why they got respect. I give it, they got respect yes, for the exactly. yeah, for the video game medium. For a game, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So mm -hmm. and it's not a movie, it's a video game. So that's why I, you know, I kinda hype it up. I feel you. Look, look, I don't mind you being happy about it. I was just saying I don't mind hearing good news about it. Um but yeah. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, wait, wait, two more quick pieces. I, I just <laughs> go through my list. I was crossing stuff off. Uh, Bonnie Ross, um, who's the head of 343, said all future Halo projects will have split screen. That's just real quick. What? Real quick. No, that's well, good. At Dice, that's at good. Dice yesterday, she said all future Halo shooters will have split screen support. Go on what does that mean? From what do you mean, forward. what that mean? That means split screen. That means you can that play on the couch, play. couch with your friend. Okay, I thought, don't Halo 5 do that? No. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Halo the, 4 do it, right? Yeah, Halo 4? Yes. Okay, Halo 4. that was dumb. That's dumb. If Halo 5 don't do it, they messed up. Hey, you think, hey, Master, do you think they're going to uh, have split screen for also the Xbox One versions as well as the Project Scorpio version? This is all future Halo projects. Oh, I'm just that's making sure. Said, yeah. all future Halo projects. Because that's the reason why they didn't put it in 5, because they said... It was technically, I guess, challenging, I guess. But anyway, I'm no, glad. Said, well, they didn't, well, this is what happens. When you split screen, when you make a split screen, you split resources. Yeah. So rendering two games running perfectly while two different people are doing completely different things, yeah. you'll either give up performance or you'll give up resolution um, Detail. detailing. No, not resolution. Resolution is just, you can set that at whatever base value you want. But you'll detail. give up details. Mm. So, that that's why, like, split screen, because you got to think, how many games this day and age, period, have split screen? Just a handful. Not almost a lot none. like back no, in the no, day. No, not even right. almost none. No, no, I said a handful, and like Battleborn, uh... I can name some. I mean, Battlefield Four. You can't Battlefield One. You can't do split screen. Call of Duty. Like too. all these shooters. Call of Duty. Right, that's got the only too. game. Can't even do it on Titanfall. You can't do it on right. Titanfall. No, but I'm just saying that they do have a handful of games, like indies yeah. as well as but small. That's why, I, 
That's just yeah. just because you split resources, and if you want a game to run smoothly, mm-hmm. especially a game that's as twitchy as uh, Halo. Like, Whoa! I need Whoa. movement to match as Halo. <laughs> you, just, you just can't unless you're go- unless you are willing to make those compromises. Well, look, first yeah, of all, I, I mean, Maslin's mic is transformed into a. Maslin, your mic right now is soft. Like, your voice is soft now. Yeah, for some reason, my my head on my phone switched over to my head, uh, Bluetooth yeah. for some reason. No, no, I like that. I like that. I like that soft Maslin where everybody is on the same level as far as volume. The, this right Yo. here. Anyway, uh, what you about to say, Fred? Let, let me let me say this real quick. Um, why she all stays talking about Halo Pro- Future Halo Project? See, my thing is that that tactic is kind of bad. I mean, look, you can say you can announce that you can have going to have split screen in future Halo games, but I wouldn't even be talking about Halo right now. So let's talk about a new IP or something. Let's talk about something else. I don't, I don't say nothing about Halo. You you, you like, basically saying they might have somebody jumping on That's what they do. I know, but. You, I know, but well, man, I, I know what you're saying, sense. Fresh. You you want Halo to get like a uh, a reveal, like how Halo Four did, like H- Halo Three w- ended, and then yeah. the Reach and stuff, and then when yeah. Halo Four got announced, everybody was losing their crap because they didn't have a Halo game in a long yeah. time. And yeah, but people, yeah, but who, yeah. who didn't know they were making another Halo? No, no, no. We all know. We I know. Like, that kind of, we, no, no, I'm. I know, I that, kind, that kind of feature, that kind of feature, like you know, let it surprise us with that. Yeah, you know, on stage, yeah. don't just say that. You know, now if the next Halo game not coming until the next few years, you know what I mean? That's what well, I'm saying. Like surprise us with why, that move. This is why I'm I'm fine with her doing it the way she did it because it doesn't make it a big thing now. Mm, like mm. the Halo Five not having split split screen was like a thing for like three weeks before Halo 5 came out. Mm. If you yeah. say it now, yes, it'll have it. Then you don't have to talk about it at all when I you mean, start sure. talking about the next Halo. I, I guess what Fresh is talking about, he's actually, I, you, what you're saying, Fresh, is like, actually I, relate up to how, um, I guess you could say Phil Spencer is uh, talking about Scorpio. Like, you, you talk about Scorpio, but you, you're not talking about it. And you're talking about Halo, yeah, but you're not really saying. showing it. Like, I know, look, look, at the end of the day, nope, just like Death Stranding, just like Death Stranding and all these uh, Sony IPs or any game that gets yeah, talked should. about before it's released, a, a, lot, a, a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people don't like stuff yeah. getting talked about so yeah. early. And I understand what Fresh yeah. is talking about, but I understand what Maslin is talking about also. He, she got it out the way, now nobody's going to be questioning, hey, is... Right, is now it won't be, like, there was literally, like, I remember on IGN, Kotaku, mm. like all those websites, there was like four or five articles talking about Halo not having multi- split screen multiplayer. Yeah. Like yes. there were different people talking about different perspectives. Oh, this had this. This here's the technical side of this. Yes. Like why is there so many articles? It doesn't have it. Move on. No. But she in yeah. order to avoid that entire conversation, she says it in passing. And even like, she literally said, because I watched her, her uh, address, she literally said it while she was just talking. Like, yeah. she was like, all future Halo games will have, uh, all future Halo titles will have a split screen. Mm, mm. Then she kept talking. And she kept but talking. they made an entire story out of that five words. And I'll tell you, that's a big thing for people, <laughs> because Halo was always split screen, you know? I'm glad they finally, or uh, they got to their senses and bringing it back. <laughs> I'm glad. I know, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying from a perspective like, look, if it's nowhere near done, don't even talk about it. You know what I mean? That's a, don't even say nothing about the game like Halo. Like you make you like it seemed like they desperate. They're leaning on Halo. Like that's going to say they. But man, hold on, wait. You, you know, just said you just were talk about Death Stranding. We don't know how don't, far that thing is done. They don't, I don't, need, know. they don't need Halo to save their butt. Halo sells itself. Halo is legitimately a console seller. All right, like, let me say people this. buy Xbox just to play Halo. You're right. Like, you're right, legitimately man. Legitimately a console right. seller. No, no, yeah, and it, it has been that way since the first Xbox. So they don't mm. need it to save them. They said it. Everyone knows that another Halo is coming. Like anybody who thinks that they oh, yeah, haven't been developing this Halo since the last one released, you are crazy. 
Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. As a as a as a form as an old lover of Halo, let me just say this right quick, fresh. As an old lover of Halo, when I found out with Bungie's Halo, right, uh, that Microsoft is gonna want to do a Call of Duty to a Halo, you know, bring it out every year and stuff like that, because they were really in the talks of doing that with Bungie, and you know, Bungie ducked out and bailed. But my whole thing was, I I want Halo to be special. I I I I want Halo to be a special to be special in that it comes out, it releases, and it gets supported. Like GTA 5 or any GTA game, every GTA lasts for five years. That's the minimum, if not the maximum. Every GTA 5 lasts for five years, and then you don't get a GTA 5 until that five year spans up. Like Halo what? can literally be like that, in my opinion, because of the fact that yeah, the name is so big, and it, like it's just it's just bro, such a special series. It's such a special series bro, bro, that a lot bro, of fans hold dear to their heart. Can't. They're not going to do that because, you know, they want their money fluent. See, if they go, they was going to make a game like Halo uh, last five years, they would have to have microtransactions in there. Have to because that money flowing when they're releasing them like this, especially Call of Duty. They want to keep that money fluently, dude. The same thing. Like Halo, though, from launch until last year, I think they reported it last November. Yeah. There were more active players in November than there was at launch. Yeah. Because people people kept buying the game. Yeah. And kept buying the game. Yeah. And it kept being a revenue stream. And they have microtransactions in one in Firefight mm -hmm. or Warzone Firefight. Uh, yeah. But people like people kept buying the game and people keep buying the game. Like yeah. Halo as a whole, the community has grown more so. And that's over a good thing. the course of a year, that's a as good opposed thing. to Call of Duty, where two months after Call of Duty comes out and they start talking about the next Call of Duty. See, th that's the problem with Call of Duty. Call of Duty. That's the biggest problem with Call of Duty that they make it with a one life, a one year lifespan. I hope that never happens to Halo. And them talking about the next Halos while Halo Five is growing, that at, I see why Halo. Fresh is talking what he's saying. He's saying like he don't want to hear nothing about the next Halo. Halo Five is growing, like you just but said. That didn't, Mm -hmm. Right, but that, that didn't happen with any of the former Halos. People were playing Halo 2 yeah. when yeah. Halo 5 came out. Well, well pe Halo 2 is better than 5 to some people, but like at the end of the day, what I'm trying right, to say is... that's what I'm is, saying. Like, people will continue to play Halo because Halo. Like, they will love oh, yeah. things about that's certain Halo. They will just keep, like, those communities will keep going yeah. forever, like... I, you're right, yeah, but I'm just, just saying... Master Chief Collection. I'm just saying Halo yeah, 5 didn't bad. come out you know, a year after Halo 2 came out, or three years after Halo 2 came out. Like, I understand what Fresh is talking about. Uh, he don't want to hear about Halo 6, and especially yeah, with I, Halo, I 5, yeah, Halo 5. Halo 5 is... Well, she didn't say nothing about Halo 6. I like I said, she... Like, yeah, you this see, conversation... Yeah, yeah. Like, like this was a, a... Literally an excerpt of her saying seven words, and they made, like, articles about it. And I think but, it's worth it. Yeah, I, think it that's, right. I think that's I think important. That. I, I think that was because good. the title Halo was in her sentence. Like my well, thing well, is, she's I the, look at she's the head of Halo. Yeah. Like, see, uh, yeah, you're looking at it question. from you're looking at it from she was talking about Halo. She wasn't. She was at Dice. Dice. Yeah. They talk about games as a whole. They talk about stories. They talk yeah. about oh, what they oh, learned man. and how to like. The, it's a developer okay. conference where mm -hmm. they are literally okay. just talking about things they have done. So she was talking about, right. like, she was talking about how um, the lack of split screen was so divisive and painful for the community. Yeah. And then she was like, she's like, for any FPS going forward, we will always have split screen. And, that's good. and then she kept talking. Yeah. Like, it wasn't so like good. she was focused. She wasn't talking about Halo. She was talking about her development as a whole. Okay, let me just say that. Okay, could, let me I'm say saying, this. I'm, look, 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 I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like as her saying that, she could have just said, you know, all future uh, Halo games will change in a way instead of saying the split screen because that's a mode that's being spoiled. You know what I mean? Oh, we bringing that back. You could have said that on stage. But why? You know what I mean? Like, hold I, on. Wait a second. Hold I, on. Wait. Wait. I, uh, look, look, look. 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 At the end of the day. Good, at good, the end good, of the day, good. we both. We all. We can all agree. <laughs> That split screen, split, uh, look, split screen coming to Halo just, in the future is a good thing. Everybody agree? Yeah, it is split, a good thing. Split, split screen saying, is a good thing, Halo right? I look at Halo as more ambitious. I look at Halo as an ambitious game. That's that's what I'm saying. Don't toy with it. That's what I'm saying. 
Look, Halo, Halo is going to be all right. Halo is going to be all right because they're making it for a new generation of, of, of Xbox fans. So at the end of the day, Halo going to be all right uh, because, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we can all agree that split screen coming to Halo is a good thing. And that's great. Um, ho- hopefully they get that story good on the next Halos. But moving on to, I guess, Maslin's last oh. bit of news. Are, are, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a Civilization humble, bum- humble Bundle out. Yeah. Uh, for You pay a dollar or more, you get Civilization 3 Complete Edition and Civilization uh, 4 Complete Edition. Yeah. Uh, if you pay $8, or right now I think it's like seven ninety eight. You get Civilization Five and all of its expansions, uh, plus twenty percent uh, off Civilization Six. Uh, if you pay fifteen dollars or more, you get all of what I just said. Plus, you get uh, Sid Meier's uh, Civilization Beyond Earth and the Exoplanets map pack and the Rising Tide map pack. Nice. Hold up. Uh, or the Rising Tide expansion. Uh, civilization games. Um, you you play them, Maslin? Yeah. Like how how does that work? Is this similar to like a uh, Tropical Five? Like, cause we did get that for free. Like how how do how them games work? Yeah, it's similar except for on a much larger scale, much better presented. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, so are you like are you basically like God in those games, like the creator, or are you just you like the mayor of the whole game? Yeah, yeah. It's it's more of a. You control a city, your your king god type thing, where you control where they go, and then you have like epic, or like you'll have thousands of units fighting thousands of units as you you know go to take over some new part of land and defend your land, Uh, like economic values and stuff like that. It's kind of like Age of Empire, right? It's like what Age of Empire? Yeah. It's like Age of Empires. Cool. That, you could have okay. just said I'm that. more Age of Empires than Tropico. Tropico has the same type of thing, except for Civilization just does it much, much better. Like, Tropico's okay, not, th- not a bad game. It's just Civilization does it much, much better. Okay, I'm thinking that game is like, you know, GTA, like, as far as, you know, uh, that's that kind of gameplay where you nah, can control it's the It is a shit of oh, okay. You, can, thinking- you control, like, right, you can, like, you make units and stuff like that. You train up your units. You make... You know, like parts of your city and expand it out, that type of thing. Okay, I'm thinking it's like Sims, like, you know, that RTS gameplay, but like GTA RTS, where you can control the economy and, you know, build your buildings and things like that in society. I'm thinking it's like that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't you can know control, it the, right, it's, it's one of those city building things, and then you use the things in your city, like, you, you know, you make a barracks then you start making higher level troops then those higher level troops you make an army with those troops and like as your technology gets better you'll equip your new troops with guns instead of spears or whatever it may be depending on the time period in which it's set and then like you uh you know your technology improves you get better weapons and more advanced units then you just put all those units in the army and you basically try to take over the world that should come to console. Well, probably can't handle. It. Hey, like only, I said, like the I only said, only one that was ever on console was four, I think. Like I said, consoles like, hey, does yeah, need yeah, yeah. more RTS games. Consoles do need more RTS games. It's a little bit sad that consoles don't have enough because back in the day, in 360, you had In War, you had Halo Wars, you had. Um, Tom Clancy's In War. Remember that what I'm War? That's crazy. Yeah, but hey, anyway, we need I'm more. In War. War. Wow. Yeah. And that had mic support, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, really, yeah that, that, that jumped Boy, voice. That was innovation. That, that was innovation. Innovation. Right and they could do it now, but nobody want to do it. Like, why we got to use these cameras to voice command in the game? Like, yeah, I don't understand. You got followers, bro. You got followers now. No one want to be original anymore. That's why. Yeah, that's a shame. Anyway, yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. We, we, we should have more games. Because, hey, Maslin, did you use Connect on Mass Effect 1 or 3? Uh, not 1, 3. I used Connect on three, and that junk was fly. I, I was telling Liara to do stuff, and it was working one to one. Yeah, right? like I had a charge, and uh, that was dope. Right? Yeah, Tomb Raider. I like love that. stuff like that. Like I don't, I don't. My my wife plays like Dan Central and stuff like that, but I, I'm yeah. more, like I like I like voice commands, like subtle voice commands to be able to just move your squad around without having to 
worry about things like that. Yep. Like, I, yeah, I love that. That was all dope. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I like I like how Tomb Raider definitely should do it. And you know, you say the weapon, you should just take it out instead of you do. I know it's lazy, but it's like <laughs> shotgun, and she'll pull the shotgun. Now that's cool. It, it, well, look, voice commands need to come back as well as RTS games need to be more on console. Uh, I think we just ran through all of Maslin's gaming news. Make sure you write in the yeah. comment section on any gaming news that you guys found pretty interesting, and we would love to hear it there and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day. Yeah, we got a bicycle ball. kick that like button. You right? Yes, hit the like button. Hold on, who bicycle kicked in uh, Mortal Kombat? Okay. Luke 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 Luke. Yeah, yeah, do that. Do that. Uh, <laughs> that bicycle kick like yeah. I like it. Bicycle <laughs> kick like Luke Kane. All right, look. Uh, support us and, and, and also check the description for time gates and all that good stuff. And all my boys' channels will be there too. Moving yes. on to the next part of Gaming Talk 26. Stay. Wait. 26S, 26S, stay tuned. Another game releasing next week, or another thing that's releasing next week, is the Nintendo Switch, as well as yeah. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Those two Woo. things are coming next week, and the unboxings are out. And let me say this about the Nintendo Switch.